Um, we've come to the part of our program where we're going to be recognizing our focus awards. And the first thing I have to do is to thank my selection committee. Um, we have a group of retired educators who worked on the selection committee. Um, Nancy Bernard, Beverly Dawson, Mary Pat Gray, Anita Newman, Sondra Rodney, and Dale Stewart. We sincerely appreciate your input in this process. You give these folks a rubric, they know what to do with it. It is wonderful. Um, just to let you know, the selection process was started with nominations, and anybody who had any contact with any person in the Davis County Public Schools can make a nomination. We had almost 50 nominations from our school system, so we were thrilled to get that many. These nominations were sent to me. I then took out all the names and all the school references, so they went blind to our selection committee. Our selection committee uh, put the rubric to the numbers and came up with three finalists in each category. Actually, it was so difficult, we had five finalists in one category and we had to, had to have a, a board vote on that. Um, the top three nominations then went to our foundation board where we um, ranked them one, two, three. And tonight we find out who will receive the Focus Award grants. Um, we actually have two grants. The board this year has selected to not only award a $1,000 Focus Award grant, but to also award our finalists. In the past, our, our additional finalists have not received anything, but this year we have doubled the awards that we're doing. We're doing $6,000 worth of awards this evening. We are very excited about that. Um, one thing I do want to, to um, mention to you, our Focus Award and our Distinguished Alumni Awards are up here on the front table. Of course, we've got our our distinguished, or we've got our uh, focus awards covered up because we don't want anybody to know who won yet. Um, but I wanted to let you know that all these awards were handcrafted by Davis County High School graduate Brooke White. I know several of you are quite familiar with Brooke. Uh, Brooke is a glass artist and owns uh, Flame Run Gallery in Louisville. It's quite an interesting place if you're in Louisville, stop by and see it. Um, let's see, I guess we need Rick and Shelly up here. If you guys would come on up. Uh, Shelly's our brand new treasurer. We're thrilled to have her on the board. And of course, you know Rick. Rick is our, um, our chair. And I think he forgot to mention that we had Hilliard as a sponsor this evening, too. So we want to make sure he's recognized for that. We, well, well, we haven't gotten your check yet, but he tells me it's coming. So we, we're hoping that Hilliard is a, a, a sponsor this evening. Um, the first person I would like to introduce is Lisa Yeiser. Lisa was our 2012 Focus Award recipient in the area of health. Uh, Vicki called me or emailed me and um, asked if I would come and say what I used my money for. It was always awesome when somebody say, hey, here's some money. Here's just, oh, right. You know, you start writing all these ideas down and what you want to pay, you know, get and stuff. But in health, one of my, um, it was just sad to look out my window. My, my office is in the front of the building, and we had fifth graders that had nothing to do when they went outside for recess. We have a fairly new school, and the playground is only for the primary kids. And so the older kids just don't have anything to do, you know, when they have recess. So I just felt so sorry for them. And the teachers were, you know, like, you know, what can we do with these kids? You know, they just kind of walk around in circles. So what I did was came up with things that I could buy for them to take outside and go into the front yard and just go have fun. So I had a big tote that they could just take it all at once um, of frisbees, jump ropes, soccer balls, just lots of different things that they could do as teams, they could do as individuals, whatever. And they loved it. Um, this year, the teachers love it again. Now, this was for last year's kids, and so they've moved on to College View. But the difference between the rest, most of the year when they didn't have anything to do, and when they went out there, it was just like, oh, let's go get the tote. Yes, they were very excited. Now, one of the things I also wanted to do, we, like I said, have a fairly new school, and in our back, um, we're, we've started a new um, ball diamond. And I was also wanting these kids to go at, around the track. We used to have a walking trail, 
and have different exercise stations for them to do as well as the kickball, you know, whatever they wanted to do. Uh, well, needless to say, when I got my money, the track was kind of torn up. So um, we are excited when the track gets back out there and gets finished once again to have exercise stations for them to be able to do. But also, I can't wait as a family resource coordinator um, to have family fitness night and have the families walk around the track and do these different exercise stations. So that is still yet to come, but I look forward to it hopefully very soon. And I want to thank you all so much. You know, like I said, when, you, when somebody says you have money, that is the best thing ever. So thank you so much. If we could have our health finalists move toward the front, please. We have Mike Duncan from Country Heights Elementary School, Donna Ebelhair from Burns Elementary School, and Christy Julian from West Louisville. If you will all come up front, please. And the winner is Donna Ebohair. Congratulations. It is with great pleasure that I recommend Donna Ebohair for the DPS Foundation's Health Focus Award. Donna is the cafeteria manager at Burns Elementary. She has been working at Burns for the past five years and always brings a positive and cheerful attitude to her work. This attitude is truly contagious. It spreads to everyone at Burns. Donna goes above and beyond her job responsibilities, ensuring all students are eating healthy and their medical needs are being met. Just one of the examples of this, of this is her attention to food allergies. She has developed a relationship with parents and communicates frequently with them to ensure the safety of their children with food, food allergies. To gain greater understanding of food, food allergies, Donna contacted local allergy doctors and passed her knowledge on to parents to assure the cafeteria's number one priority is students' health. To this day, she continues to email her menu, including ingredients to parents of children with food allergies. She is in constant communication with them to be aware of school menus and their child's health. Not only is Donna our cafeteria manager, she is well known and popular with our staff and students. She is always willing to volunteer to participate in school-wide assemblies, dancing, singing, and cheering, whatever it takes to motivate students. She inspires our student body by attending and promoting healthy lifestyles to our students at our Bobcat Bashes, which is weekly school-wide assemblies. She develops fun activities for students to promote nutrition and good health, including World Milk Day, poster contests, and cafe tours. Donna also contributes to the academics and instruction at Burns. She visits classrooms, she allows students to job shadow in the cafeteria, and she takes time to develop positive and healthy relationships with all students, especially those who need it the most. Donna Ebelhair would be a great selection for the Health Focused Award. She encompasses all characteristics of a leader in health. Donna is not just the cafeteria manager at Burns. She is a role model and a leader in health and safety of students. Donna Ebelhair was nominated by a colleague, Heather Newman. I don't know what to say. <laughs> and thank you, Heather, for sure. Um, the first thing I want to do is, is say thank you to the Board of the Director, Foundation Board of Directors, the Focused Award Selection Committee, Founders Society members, for not only choosing me for the Focus Award, but for making the awards and the grants possible. I've only been with the school system for five years, so this is a great honor for me just to even be nominated. I, I feel very blessed. And as far as the money, what I would like to do with the money is, you know, our biggest thing in, in the cafeteria is nutrition. What I would like to do is use the money to when the fresh vegetables come along this spring and even in the fall, is to purchase enough of them that we can actually send some home with the children, whether it be tomatoes, apples, oranges, whatever that we could do, maybe even put them in the backpack programs because we know that nutrition starts at home, so we want to make sure that we can get these in the home, the kids can try them, and maybe that will carry over into our school. 
and that they'll try better choices in the future because it's really hard to get them to try the new stuff. So hopefully this is what uh, will work and it will pay off in the future for our kids. Thank you.